Hey everyone, welcome to a short video on how to get powerful components for invention. Um, as most of you know, getting some of the components for invention is quite a pain, and uh, this is hopefully going to help you out quite a bit. Um, so we're going to move right into it. Um, as you see in my inventory here, I have quite a bit, quite a bit of different items, and uh, I'm going to tell you what they're for. So they're ranked right now in order of the uh, best to the worst ways of getting powerful components, with the high level... Uh, pouches being the best way to do it right now. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a, a level 80 plus uh, pouch. Um, our typically will give you 0% and the ones that are just below 80 will give you close to 0%. Um, as you can see with the unicorn style in here, it gives close to 0%. Uh, and what this will give you is spiritual parts, crafted parts, flexible parts, and powerful components right there. Um, with the fact this is close to 0 and these are fairly cheap to buy, although they have gone up quite a bit, uh, what you want to do is really just hunt down for the uh, cheapest pouches. Um, whether, you use a, whether you're using a pouch or using 10 um, scrolls, it's going to give you the exact same result. So keep that in mind. Um, no, you cannot uh, turn one pouch into 10 scrolls and get 10 times the amount of stuff out of it um, because it counts like as a scroll. They wanted to keep that even. Um, keep in mind, though, as you go down and trying to search for cheaper summoning scrolls, as you see here with the beaver pouch as being lower level by quite a bit, you are going to be uh, getting much more junk chance. Uh, so, you know, just kind of balance it out. Uh, obviously, if the beaver is nearly the same price as a unicorn, as shown in this example, I would definitely go with the unicorn because you're going to get way less junk. Um, but if the unicorn is five times the price of the beaver, then it might be considerable to do beavers. Uh, it also depends on how much time you're wanting to spend doing this. Um, another great option to getting uh, powerful components is to look at uh, tiaras. They haven't really been useful until now. Um, and as you can see, the junk chance is extremely high on these things. Uh, but they do give you powerful, protective, deflecting, magic cover parts. The reason why I rated them so high is just because of the fact that you can buy these things overnight or, uh, you know, just from players, but just leave your offer in there. You can get tiaras in general for extremely cheap um, right now. So your chances of getting your powerful components out of these um, with, like, as an example, if you spent 10,000 gold on a pouch and you spent 10,000 gold on tiaras, you're going to get considerably more tiaras than you are pouches. So your chance of getting powerful components is, uh, you know, pretty decent out of uh, how many TRs you're going to be able to do for the same price. So like I said, this guide is mostly for saving the most money. So um, look for TRs that uh, you can buy very cheaply, and then you can just sit there and break them down. Um, and then my, that might save you more money over doing uh, some of the more expensive pouches, as pouches are very expensive right now. Um, but overall, TR is not the greatest method. Just keep in mind, that's just if you're trying to save a lot of money. So the next thing here would be the battle staves, and um, as you can see here with battle staves, the basic battle stab gives you a 67% chance for junk, and the elemental one gives you a 67% chance of junk. So definitely do regular battle staves to save yourself some money, or if you're going to train crafting in an extremely expensive way and you feel like breaking down your battle staves after you make them, uh, feel free. Uh, I would not recommend that because that would cost a lot of money. Um, but as you can see right here, the, you, these give Stav, Magic, Padded, Powerful, and Imbued. Um, and with only a 67% junk chance, these are a viable option. Um, the only problem with this is the fact that uh, these are not cheap to buy. You know, your average Battle Staff is going to cost you 8,000 gold and more. Um, and for that, for that price, you can easily buy a pouch that's going to give you a 0% junk chance. So they're in here, just in case you uh, feel like doing them, or maybe there's an update. Uh, but I would definitely pick the uh, Unicorn Stallion pouches or other high-level pouches it doesn't have to be a unicorn, um, you know, just like uh, in order to get a, a more bang for your buck. So the next thing here is um, uh, Omni Talisman. Um, Omni Talisman is uh, is really cool. Uh, it gives you an 89% junk chance, uh, and, but it does give you powerful components, magic, and crafted. Um, as you can see, that junk chance is really high. So keep that in mind. Um, but at the, at the end of this guide, I'm, I'm going to show you a really cool trick with the Omni Talisman. Which is going to make that seem more viable, and it's also going to be really a really good, really really good choice for someone who wants to spend zero money getting powerful components and uh, literally zero money. Um, so uh, don't run over there. Ah. So the next thing, the last thing on this thing I want to show you is uh, right here, the uh, Mystic Robes. Um, so Mystic Robes are 45% jump chance, uh, and they give you cover, magic, deflecting, powerful, protective. 
basically, uh, you don't need to use mystic robes. I just grabbed a powerful piece of uh, magic armor just to show you that it gives you, you know, a pretty good junk chance, honestly. And uh, in comparison to using um, pouches, this is really not worth doing because these are way more money than a pouch. Um, but I would really only mess with these if A, you have a whole lot of money to burn, and then B, you're looking for more than just powerful, like in, in case you want protective components also, then maybe that'd be a more viable thing to do. I would highly recommend not doing that for just uh, powerful. Um, a couple other things I want to show you uh, that are also uh, very viable things to do would be to go into uh, white stabs. So white stabs are something you can get from the uh, white knight weapons. You have to make sure that you have already completed the wanted quest uh, and then you have to get a certain uh, ranking with the white knights. Um, you can also buy these from the GE but as you can see right here the grand exchange price is way more than the store price with the grand exchange price being here, store price being only 200 gold. Um, there's a buy limit of 100 in the grand exchange but you can buy up to 10 of these from the, uh, the shop itself. As you can see right here, the junk chance is 72%. It gives you nightly, uh, imbued, powerful, blah, blah, blah. Most are looking here for the powerful. At a 72% junk chance, it's not that bad because these stabs only cost, uh, let's see, they cost 200 gold, I believe. Yeah, 200, 200 gold from the store. Um, so it's only 2,000 gold for buying 10 of these, and then you have a decent chance of getting uh, some good components. So uh, that's definitely something to do, honestly, if you ha have the ability to access that shop is just run through there and uh, grab those whenever you go through uh, Falador. Um, next thing would be the Colemancer's Gloves 1. This is not a super viable method to do, but it is good for people who are trying to save money hardcore. If you've already completed the recipe for disasters and you can go and get the Colemancer chest uh, stuff out of it, then uh, this is pretty good um, for, like I said, trying to save a ton of money. Um, the store price is only 50 gold each which is why they're viable. Uh, base stock is 10. As you can see, the uh, the junk chance is incredibly high, 98%, but they do give you culinary components, which is kind of hard to find, and they give you um, three different rare components. Um, now, as far as, well, should you buy the higher level culinary mancer gloves? Because as you can see, these are the culinary mancer gloves one. The culinary mancer gloves eight, which are the higher ones, um, cost quite a bit more, 5,000 gold each. Um, same stock and the exact same junk chance. So there really is no benefit in buying the higher level ones. Um, the, so, you know, to keep that in mind, you can run through there and uh, grab the low level gloves. That's not a bad way to get some uh, kind of hard to find parts. Um, next thing would be the uh, mycelium poncho stuff and, or just mycelium web stuff in general. Um, you can get all the different pieces from the polypore dungeon. It's right there in the entrance in the store. Um, and then what you do in there is you can buy these for 300 a piece and the other pieces will cost different different amounts, but you can buy 10 uh, from the store, or no, actually, you know what, you can buy a far more from the store. That, that's showing you the uh, the GE limit. Um, the store itself um, carries more than 10. But these have a 93.6 junk percent, but they do give you the powerful components. Keep in mind, though, these things do sell for a lot more than the uh, store price in the GE. The other day I was selling these for 10,000 gold a piece in the GE. So it is actually probably better for you just to grab them and go sell them rather than, rather than uh, break them down for components. I mean, if you want to, you can grab a full inventory of these, run back to the Grand Exchange, sell them, spend the money on higher level pouches, and that's going to be far more efficient than you sitting there breaking them down. The last thing I want to show you is the Omni Talisman. And uh, as you can see, uh, Omni Talisman, like I explained before, gives the powerful components. And uh, it says right here that there is a 71.2% junk chance. Um, that's not correct. The Omni Talisman does not have a 71.2% junk chance, as it says right here. Um, as we go back to the game itself, you will see that uh, upon in, uh, looking at it, it is an 89% junk chance. So there's a little bit of a uh, typo there. I'm not, you know, honestly, I'm not really sure it's a typo because what I'm about to show you, I think they probably just nerfed it. Um, and it might have been a hidden nerf, unless it's something I just missed. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get these components completely free. If you want completely free, powerful components, this is how you do it. Keep in mind that uh, this is not a fast way of getting the components. So if you're looking for a fast way to get them free, this is not going to happen. Um, but uh, this is a way to do it if you just literally want to spend zero money. I don't really know why you want to be that cheap, but here we go. <laughs> Who knows? 
Um, so as you can see, on the talisman, I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to use my disassemble and I'm going to break it down. And on the left there, you see I got junk. Now, you know, that sucks. Alan Talisman's gone, right? But now that we've gone up to the, to the uh, Runecrafting Guild, you can talk to Wizard Elris right here. Hit talk to, hit the space bar right there, hit one, hit the space bar again to tell you lost it, and poof, you got another one. Look at that. Infinite Omni Talismans. And you break it down here and get more junk. And now remember, 89% junk chance, you're going to get nine, nine, basically 9 out of 10 times you're going to get junk. Uh, and then you might get something better. Um, uh, I'm not going to sit here and do this too much because, like I said, it's it's only if you want to do it for free. I have actually sat here and got a couple powerful components. I tell you it definitely is possible, but it does take more time than other methods. Um, but as you can see, overall, the best current method to get powerful components in the entire game is to do high-level pouches. Um, and then doing uh, slightly lower-level pouches to save a bit of money is not bad also. But there's a whole bunch of different options for you guys to do. Um, and this uh, video is dedicated to my subscribers because they requested that I make a powerful components video, so I really hope this helped you guys. Um, if it is, if it does help you, uh, like, subscribe, like always, and uh, let me know what else I can make.